face Peter Taylor, stepped inside it. Oh, he's bowled him. Clean bowl. Border is out. The South Africans have struck again. Oh, that's that's, good shot. that's four runs, isn't it? Yes. What a beautiful stroke. Oh, he's got it through. Four more for Vessels. Driving again. Oh, oh superb glorious. stuff. What a lovely shot. Oh, lovely shot off the back foot by Hudson. And in the South African camp, too, there's a healthy respect for what these bowlers might be able to do. Well, we always obviously worry about uh, bowlers and, and opposition sides. And uh, we realise what we've got to cope with. Uh, we, we've got to, got, to, got to do it on the day tomorrow. The wicket will be slow. And I think the advantage New Zealand hold is the fact that they have got uh, slower, slower medium-paced bowlers than, than normal. And we do realise that. But our guys have just got to adapt and, and get stuck in. Ball for 108. Donald the bowler. Whoever does open will have to contend with Alan Donald, South Africa's fast bowling sensation. He was dynamic in his second spell in Sydney on Tuesday night. Knocked over. Beautiful delivery. Took the leg stump. And viewed in close-up in the Eden Park nets, he is very, very slippery. He has bowled very well, and he, he seems to be one of those guys uh, like Kepler, who rises to the occasion. And he didn't bowl particularly well in his first spell in Sydney, but he, he came back brilliantly after that and really bowled superbly. Uh, but again, you know, to a certain extent, he'll be counteracted by the slowness of the wicket. But uh, he's, a, he's a bowler who, who does learn quickly, and I'm, sh I'm sure he will sort out the conditions, you know, once he's bowled a couple of overs and, and bowl accordingly. South Africa only needed three batsmen against Australia. Kepler Vessels. Oh, beautiful shot. Magnificently placed. Beautiful timing by Vessels. Andrew Hudson. Oh, another beautiful cover drive. Racing away, and that will go to the boundary. Whack into the fence it goes. And Peter Kirsten. So it's how might the rest there. of the batting it's lineup perform with little oh, recent match play? It's tough on them, you know, with, with uh, lack of, of practice. We've, uh, we've had uh, two, three uh, practice matches washed out. So the guys, the guys down the order are struggling really as far as uh, having a, had a knock in the middle. But before, before we had our uh, last practice match, uh, everyone seemed in pretty good form. So hopefully they still are. Right, so as far as South Africa is concerned, where do you think is their greatest threat? Their pace bowling attack or their batting? I think they've got all-round ability. I think they've got... Uh... The other evening in, in uh, Sydney, it was a, a very, very emotional game for a lot of people, and there was a lot of tension out there, and our guys handled it well. So, And I suppose that game was a little bit different to, to the rest of the World, World Cup, because it was like first up, we were playing Australia uh, at Sydney. Uh, and from now on, we've just got to c carry on working hard. Uh, that, that's just the beginning, we hope, and uh, we're just looking forward to a good game tomorrow, and may the best side win. In commentary is that of Tony Gregg. Oh, winner! He's got him first ball. Yes, he's got to be out. Huge appeal! My goodness, that looked as if there was a deflection there. The South Africans cannot believe it. The umpire down at that end is umpire Brian Aldridge from New Zealand. Given that first one not out, well, a oh, beautiful shot through the covers into the fence for four. Good shot. Right down the ground, this outfield quick enough, I think, to take that one down to the boundary. Into the fence. Need to be brilliant to stop shots like that. Boone's coming, there's a chance if they hit. The umpire Bucknor in good position. And uh, David Boone didn't even bother to look around. Got him, he's got him, brilliant. Adrian Caper gets the ball to run away, hits the edge, and Richardson takes a fine catch. And no need to worry about that. Three down. Adrian Caper has got one to come back in the air. I sense it just with the inside edge. And on. There's an edge to that one. Dean Jones has got to be on his way. He's waiting. Umpire Buckner waited for him to turn around and have a look. Umpire Buckner expected Dean Jones to walk away. It's well bowled. Close to the stumps. Very well bowled. He's got that one away. 
in the air and just wide of the field. It's been one bounce into the fence. Boys hit that one down a square leg and straight into the fence it goes. Healy picking the gap. Boys hit that one high and it's going to be out. There's no doubt about that one. Yes, it's gone. Unfortunately, Healy restricted a little bit by his injury. Hits that one straight up. In the air, gone. Caught extra cover. Straight to him, no question about that. Bit of tail, knocked over, beautiful delivery, took the leg stump. He's been very, very impressive, he's very fast, and he's done the job for his captain and his team. That's his third wicket. He's done not beaten, well fielded the throw, but the ball is, it could be out. Got to be out, yes, brilliant piece of fielding at cover point. Final card. It means South Africa need to make 171, 49 overs gone. He'll do it. 16 as Vessels breaks the shackles there and hooks that away for... A oh, beautiful shot, magnificently placed. Beautiful timing by Vessels. Oh, another beautiful cover drive. Racing away, and that will go to the boundary. Whack to the attack. Oh, he's bowled in. That's the end. Stay Taylor has struck. That's exactly what the Aussies needed. Beautiful shot. He's a very, very fine offside player, Kepler Vessels. Terrific placer of the ball. That brings up Kepler Vessels 50. Boundary takes him to 53 and one for 122 as the many South African supporters in the crowd rise to hail their captain. Put that one away. It's bouncing down towards the boundary at square leg. Yes, into the fence it goes for. Yeah, Tony Gregg, it's Bruce Reed to Kipler Vessels. He gets over a point that's going to go all the way, is it? And there comes Whitney. He doesn't get there, so it's four more. You can just. Magnificent performance by South Africa. And it's this man, Kepler Vessel, the South African captain who's held the innings together. And it'll be a tremendous moment for him to be there at the end when they win this game. And there's four more. And that'll take the score to 170 for one in the 47th over. And there it is. Victory by nine wickets to South Africa in this World Cup match at the Sydney Cricket Ground. A magnificent performance by the South Africans. Oh. Oh, my God.